It's Time Magazine. I believe it's Time. Time. Either Time or Newsweek. I get them confused mm-hmm. because they're both irrelevant and yeah. dishonest. Uh, we pointed out earlier this week that the Inflation Reduction Act would allocate about $80 billion to the IRS um, to hire 87,000 new employees. Mm-hmm. Well, according to Eric Cordelessa, mm-hmm. Cordelessa at Time Magazine, uh, they wrote, there's only one problem. It's not true. Ah, case closed. Yeah. By the way, these are the same people who couldn't just look up the marriage certificate of Ilan Omar and her lover slash brother. Yes. <laughs> her blood lover. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. So many meetings. Um, so let's go through the claims that the fact checkers make. Here's the first claim that they make. They say, well, most hires won't even be new agents. Mm. They write, according to a Treasury Department official, I love how their source defending the government is always a member of the government. What happened to watchdog groups? So Time (laughs) wrote, according to a Treasury Department official, the funds would cover a wide range of positions, including IT technicians and taxpayer services, support staff, as well as experienced auditors. Here's a 2019 article from Forbes regarding uh, these agents. An official report says that at the end of 2017, the tax agency had almost 4,500 guns and uh, five million rounds of what? ammunition in its weapons inventory. Good Lord, why that much ammunition? <laughs> From March to June 2022, the IRS purchased an additional $700,000 worth oh. of ammunition, which I know is a drop in the bucket compared to the budget, but it also just seems, why do you need that much ammo? What's the FBI doing? It's not the military. By the way, speaking of which, did you know this? IRS agents can make arrests. This is, we have this from Cornell here. It's a, again, all references available at lighthousecutter.com. They have the right to make arrests without a warrant for any offense against the United States relating to the internal revenue laws committed in his presence or for why does that have to be a him or for any <laughs> felony cognizable under such laws if he has reasonable grounds to believe that the, the person to be arrested has committed or is committing any such felony. What? They don't even need a warrant. The IRS, again, it's basically an executive order goof that's gone on too long. Here's another claim that Time Magazine, the wonderful fact checkers there, Beacon of Authority makes. And by the way, if you search on Google IRS new agents, this pops up first. It actually automates. Oh, really? Yeah, when I searched on Safari on my phone yesterday. They'll probably Good. change it at the time of this airing. Um, they say that the new funding is only restoring previous capacity to IRS. So this uh, is a claim on Time. Mm. And it's not entirely incorrect. Except it is. It says, in all, the IRS might net roughly 20,000 to 30,000 new employees from the new funding, enough to restore the tax collecting agency staff to where it was roughly a decade ago. Uh, Well, here's the truth, actually. Yes, the IRS, their budget was decreased somewhat under Trump, which frankly was amazing to me. But eventually, the budget, with these new changes, will be 40% more when adjusted for inflation than it was in 2011. And this is something, and by the way, Republicans took back the House in 2011, and they began shrinking that budget, which is very, very rare. This shows you the fundamental difference between Democrats and Republicans and conservatives, liberals at this point. I don't really know if Republican means anything anymore, is the idea of baseline budgeting. You know, at the end of the year, when you see construction going on and people aren't actually doing anything, that's because they have to make sure that they spend all of the money from the year before so that they can get an increase whether they need it or not. When a new law goes into the books, when a new tax goes into the books, it's almost impossible to remove, which is why it was so surprising that the IRS actually saw its budget decrease. The Democrats assume once there's an increase in budget, you can only increase the size of government. There would never be an appropriate scenario to reduce the scope of the IRS. They're so upset about it that a 40% increase, again, all, ref, all references available, letoffcrowd.com, adjusted for in place, uh, inflation, a 40% increase over 2011 budget is not enough. It's offensive to them. Yeah. Well, that was the right move to start re- reducing their budget. And if the Republicans win in the midterms, they need to do the exact same thing, except they have to do it on steroids now because yes. their budget was $12.5 billion. They just got $80 billion. Here's another claim that they make. There you go, Tillman. Yeah. They say the lack of staff means that the IRS couldn't audit the richest Americans. Remember? The rich. You hate them, right? Mm. This is what Time writes. Among wealthy individuals who had a positive income, a million dollars or more, the audit rate fell from 8.4% in 2010 to 2.4% in 2009. Well, here's the truth. <laughs> Audits for low to middle income people, the, low, the middle class, lower uh, middle class, upper middle class, dropped during the same period. Oh. Okay, from 2015 to 2019 in particular, the percentage fell by 33% for low to moderate income filers claiming the earned income tax credit. Mm. 
uh, analysis released by White House Republicans Tuesday showed that those making 75000 or less would be subject to, with the new changes, 710000 additional IRS audits. And here's the thing. When you look at the fact checkers, you have to look at what they are not fact checking. They are not saying that the IRS isn't coming for you, the middle class. They're saying, yeah, but they're also going to go after the rich more. Well, how does that benefit you? They're saying, look, we're not only going to harm you, we're going to harm other people more who you should hate, even though you don't know, and they probably have not committed any crimes. This is the fundamental difference in the worldview. Hey, how about we harm everybody less, whether it's the rich or the middle class? Just think about this for a second. They, are, they, are, they have completely lost the ball. Oh, what will we do without, uh, without 80 extra billion to the IRS? How will we live? It's like I don't even recognize my country anymore. How about what we've always done? How about we don't need them? Yeah. We don't need more auditing. We don't have a revenue problem. We have a spending problem. It's not even close. Yeah. If you increase your auditing of every single rich person to the point where you created a loophole and you could tax every single dollar of profit after a million dollars, you still wouldn't have enough. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.